Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. One of the first videos I posted here on YouTube was a review of the Chromecast with Google TV. It was made to compete with other $50 streaming devices like Amazon's 4K Fire Stick, the TiVo Stream 4K, and the Xiaomi My Box. In June of last year, Walmart came out with a 4K Android TV streamer of their own called the On UHD Streaming Device at an unbeatable price of $29. I posted a video back then that compared it to the Amazon 4K Fire Stick. That video has been one of my most popular at over 85,000 views and counting. Well, here in the fall of 2022, Google released a brand new $29 HD version of their Chromecast with Google TV. How does it compare to Walmart's wildly popular on UHD streaming device for that same price? That's what I'm here to show you in today's video. I'll compare its specs and I'll put it through its paces. When I'm done, you'll have the information you need to decide which one of these sub $30 streamers is right for you. If you stick around to the end, I'm going to share a couple of things that will make it even harder for you to decide. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. So if you're ready to see these $29 Android TV streaming devices compete for King of the Hill, sit back, relax, and let's go. If you're in the market for a VPN service to help you stay connected and protected while streaming, have a click on one of the links in the description below. Doing so not only gets you a great discount on your next VPN subscription, it also helps to support the Cord Cutters Li channel. Before we compare the specifications of these two devices, let's compare the remotes up close and personal. First, how they feel in the hand. They both weigh about the same at around 2.2 ounces with the batteries inside. They both have rounded bottoms, similar to the Roku remotes if you've ever had one of them. That's where the similarities end though. Walmart's remote has a lot more buttons and functionality. While the Google remote has two dedicated app buttons for YouTube and Netflix, the Amazon remote has two more of these buttons for Disney Plus and HBO Max. And yes, these buttons can all be remapped to open any apps you want. Ask me down in the comments if you'd like to see a video of how to do that. But the differences don't stop there. Walmart's remote also has settings, favorites, live TV, and mute buttons. None of these are found on Google's remote. One last thing to say about Google's remote, I'm not a fan of the location of the up and down volume buttons over here on the side of the remote. It's just so different from what I'm used to that I can't seem to get used to it. So overall, if I had to choose which remote I like the best, it's an easy winner. The On UHD streaming devices remote wins the remote contest. Now let's take a look at the specs before we explore how the interfaces compare. Both have similar quad-core processors, no real difference there. Walmart's streamer has 2 gigabytes of RAM, where Google's device just has 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. This is going to show up in the performance of the device, navigating around and so on. They both have 8 gigabytes of storage. Both are expandable for just a few bucks with their respective OTG cables you can find on Amazon. Links in the description for all that. The interface on Walmart's box is the official Android TV version 10, while Google's streamer has Google TV version 11. Google TV is sort of an overlay on Android TV, and it looks a little different. We'll get into that in a little bit. Last but not even close to least is the display resolution. This version of the Chromecast with Google TV comes with just HD or 1080p resolution, while Walmart's on streamer has full UHD or 4K resolution. That alone could be the deciding factor between these two devices, but it really depends on what kind of content you're going to be streaming. As more and more streaming services like Netflix and others offer different price points for 1080p versus 4K content, I think there is definitely a market for a standard HD streaming device. Let me know what you think about that in the comments section below the video. Now let's take a look at the difference between the Google TV interface of the Chromecast versus the official Android TV interface on the Walmart box. Okay, so here on the left, we have the HD version of the Chromecast with Google TV. This is what the interface looks like. If you're not familiar, it's very um, similar to Android TV uh, with a couple of exceptions. The first being this, what I call the favorites bar. They call it your apps. This bar here will show 12 apps on it. You can't really reduce or increase that number. So even if you don't use 12 apps, you still have to have something in these places. Um, and then you can go and look at all your apps by going into here where it says see all. 
And the other difference is when you go down to these other sections here, these aren't really fully definable as far as, uh, you know, how you want to organize them and everything. Not quite as easily anyway. When you go all the way down to the bottom and you can manage which services that you have. But, uh, you know, it, it's going to throw this stuff up there however it wants. There's not a lot you can do about it. And over on the right, we have the on UHD streaming device from Walmart. And as you can see, the interface is official Android TV, um, where you can scroll around, you can go up and down. You see this, uh, the favorite apps or the favorites bar here. Here we have just six apps on here and you can add or move or delete apps that you want to. You just go over here to the plus and let's say if we wanted to add Sling TV to that bar, we can go ahead and do that. And if we wanted to remove one, this is an option not available on Google TV. You could just remove it from favorites like that. And the other options are all of these bars down here at the bottom can be configured. If you move to the left, you can move that up and down if you want to. If you want to have the Netflix stuff right at the top below your favorites, you can drop it there. So that's the big difference between the interfaces. And the settings look a little different too, but uh, I won't get into that to save you from a longer video here. I tested both of these streaming devices in several different ways. Streaming over my local network, streaming with Amazon Prime Video, streaming live television with Sling TV, streaming with Netflix. I even connected my Xbox controller and tried a few games. In just about every test I threw at it, both devices performed quite well considering their $30 price tags. There really were no noteworthy weaknesses or outstanding strengths between the two of them. So how do you make your mind up when choosing between these two Android TV streamers on a budget? In just a minute, I'll tell you which one I'd pick. But before I do, let me complicate things a little bit with these little tidbits. Since the release of the new HD version of the Chromecast with Google TV, Walmart has lowered the price on their on UHD streaming device to just $19.88. I don't know how long it'll stay at that price, but with the holiday sales coming up, I think you'll have some time to grab one of these at this insanely low price. On the other hand, Google has a sale of their own up their sleeves. When you buy the new HD Chromecast with Google TV, you get six months of Peacock Premium at no extra cost. At Peacock's price of $4.99 a month, it's like getting this streaming device for free. So there you go. A lot to think about to help you make up your mind on which of these sub $30 Android TV streaming services is right for you. Let me know which one you like best by putting some comments down there. And if you'd like to see more videos on either of these devices, let me know what you'd like to see. Oh wait, I almost forgot to tell you which one of these I'd buy. After everything I showed you in this video, my decision was easy. I got both. If you enjoyed today's video, please do click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos when they come out for Cord Cutters Our Life, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.